Welcome everybody to our Parachute and Force project video. Um, I'm going to try to make this super sweet and short, but I just wanted to give you some visual aids to help you get this done. So I have it open in my course already, and I do want to, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I want to draw your attention to, at the bottom of my screen there's a teacher note, okay? Um, it's a warning. And we're going to talk about it a little bit during this video, but I want to read this warning to you. It says the worksheet in the pre-lab needs to be downloaded before starting. you start writing in it. Make sure you are putting your answers in the downloaded one and not the one opened from the course. Your work will not be saved if you write on the one in the course. And also, if you're trying to write your answers or on a Word document or a text document and not quite sure that there is a PDF, I'm going to show you exactly where that is. So let me get started. So I'm going to scroll down here. And um, this right here, I like to open the actual uh, labs in the pop-out window. Okay, so the pop-out window, I actually have that already as a new tab. It opens up a brand new tab, but here's our project. It gives you the background. Make sure you read that background. Okay, it tells you what you're going to do. It talks about a hypothesis. Okay, and variables. Please, please, please make sure that you read this. You're going to have to understand the difference between independent and dependent variables. Okay, um, so read through that. Here's your objective, which gives you the question that you're trying to answer. Your materials, you're gonna need, um, really you only need three hard boiled eggs, but you may want more just to do some more tests. A large plastic garbage bag, string, tape or a hole punch. Really it's tape or string. Um, well, we'll get to that. Tape or a hole punch and something to hold the egg, like a small plastic sandwich bag. Okay, here's our pre-lab and this is what I was talking about. There, over here to the right hand side, there's the handout. Okay, when you click on it, okay, when you click on it, oh bother. There we go it's going to bring you to the actual handout. This is where you can write stuff. I'm so fast at writing nothing. You can write stuff in it. It will not save your work. Please do not, do not, do not do this. What you have to do is when you first open it in the course, come up here to this little down arrow and it says download it. You're going to click on the download and you're going to choose the location of where you want to save it. Okay? Save it straight to your desktop. You can name it whatever you want to name it. You could do force um, project in your name, whatever you want. Make sure that it stays in the PDF format and then you're going to click on save. I'm going to hit cancel right now because I've already saved it. So let me. I save it in POHS, which is Primavera Online High School. Anything that I have, Integrated Science B, which is this course. And let's see, it's this one right here. All right, now I've found the one that I saved onto my computer. Now I can start typing things. Um, and just to show you, I wrote the word testing, okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna come back to this a little bit later. Maybe I'm gonna eat some dinner or whatever. I'm gonna go to file, I'm gonna save it. X out of it, and I'm done. Now it's dinner time, okay? Well, let me minimize this real fast and get out of that so you can see that it's not the same. All right. We're back, it's after dinner, I'm ready to work. I'm gonna open up that document I saved into onto my computer. And as you can see, testing is still there. So my work was saved, okay? So, that will save you a lot 
of headaches. All right. So let's go through and let's talk about this Parachutes in Force project. Your question is what effect does parachute size have on falling hard boiled eggs? Remember you're going to make three parachutes of different sizes. So the first thing you need to do is fill out your pre-lab before you start doing anything. Okay, like I said, make sure you have you open and save the fillable PDF. You close that original PDF that you opened in the course so you don't get confused. And then open that PDF you saved onto your computer. Now there's 11 pre-lab questions in the section. Before you get started, you want to make sure that you understand the following vocabulary terms. Force, acceleration, speed, independent variable, and dependent variable. It's going to ask you to use those terms in your pre-lab. Okay. And then you're going to create a hypothesis. I started one for you if you'd like. If three different sized parachutes are tested with hard boiled eggs, then what's going to happen? Okay, what result do you expect to see? Now, I wrote it in the proper hypothesis format, starting off with the word if. If something is changed or altered, then this is going to result. Okay, make sure you're writing it in the proper hypothesis format. And now you're going to gather your materials. All right, so gathering your materials to make your parachute. Here I've gathered um, a trash bag, a marker so I can make some lines, a ruler, and some scissors. And I drew a hexagon on my trash bag. Okay, this one was six inches in length on all the sides. And notice how I kept it to one end of the trash bag so I could actually do some another one on the top. Now I kept this trash bag folded or um, intact. Okay, so when I cut them, there's actually going to be two. So you're going to cut the hexagon. I cut them out, and when I pulled this off, there was this the one that you actually can see, and then there's one on the back because a trash bag has two sides. Okay, so I actually cut out two of the same size hexagon. Now I need to separate the hexagons. Okay, so now you can see I was pulling it apart. Now I have two of the same size. And I took one of them and I had trimmed it down a little bit. I cut off the same amount on each of the sides so that I had a smaller hexagon. Then what I did was I took that smaller hexagon and I placed it on the remaining part of my paper bag and I traced around it. And then I made my third hexagon, making it the smallest by cutting inside the line of that medium, what I would call medium size hexagon, giving me three different sizes of hexagons. Then I'm going to take my string that I needed, so there are more materials, I take the string and I cut my string. Now, because I have three bags that ha and I need um, six strings per bag, I need a total of 18 strings. Make sure that all the 18 are the same length. And then at the corners of the hexagons, you're going to create holes. I used a paper or a hole punch. You could just use scissors, just fold it over a little bit, make a little snip and you're good and then attach a string to each hole. And then I use Ziploc bags, it's just super easy. And what I did was I put a hole in the bag, I put a hole on either side of the bag and then two on one side and two on the other. And you attach the string, or that's attached to the, the uh, paper bag, or trash bag, to your Ziploc bag. And that's what you're going to get as a result. So I have six different strings attached to my um, trash bag, and they're all tied to a Ziploc bag. And then you, now you place the hard-boiled egg in the bag. It's kind of hard to see. I'm holding it up right there. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, there's the parachute. It's attached to the um, Ziploc bag, and inside the Ziploc bag suspended is... Um, an egg. So I was holding this up so you could actually see. Then after that, 
you need to um, find a spot to drop the three parachutes from. So an idea would be a playground. Okay, go to the highest point that you can get to and drop them from. Make sure that you're dropping from the exact same location each time. Um, you can go to the top of a ladder, on top of a chair, just basically anything that gets you up in the air to give it enough time to drop that you can be safe with, okay? And then finally, fill out the rest of your lab paper after you've done that. Now, um, let me go back. When you are dropping your parachutes from wherever you're standing, you're gonna go down and you're going to look at the results of your egg. You're gonna check your egg out, see if there's any damage, how many cracks are there, did it completely break the shell, did it not break it at all? You're gonna make some observations. Those observations go into your I don't have it open anymore, do I? Into your lab handout, okay? So there's a, a table right here, okay? So parachute size, you're gonna measure, you're gonna have the dimensions of the parachute, what kind of egg damage that you had, um, and then any notes, so you're gonna write that down, okay? Notice on the sample, on egg damage, it says four cracks, longest was 4.3 centimeters. That is being very detailed in the data. And that's exactly what science is all about, is being detailed in your data so that you can make really good comparisons. But that is the project. And uh, there you go. So hopefully this helps. And if not, just make sure you get a hold of me. Uh, message me any questions. Uh, let me know how it's going if you have any questions. Um, as always, when you get your feedback from the project, I'll tell you what you need to uh, do to correct any issues and how many points were taken off per section so you um, know where the points came from. All right, well, have a great day, guys. Bye.